Hey everybody, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to create an ad in Facebook the proper way. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to log into your ads manager from your business page. So up here on the upper right, drop down and you will see manage ads. That will take you to your account manager. I have more than one account. You will not. So this is your ads manager. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you're on campaigns and you're going to create a new campaign. Keep in mind that since you're promoting yourself as real estate, um, if you're doing a listing, you have to do a special ad category. Um, yourself as a service, um, it's still up in the air about that. However, you may or may not get flagged by Facebook if you do not choose a special ad category. From the drop down, you're going to create housing ad all right the next portion is you figure out your marketing objective so for example brand awareness is to introduce your brand to a new audience reach is to expose your ad to as many people as possible in your audience traffic is to drive traffic to a specific web page app or facebook messenger conversation this is the one that i most commonly use when i'm doing open house ads or listing ads Engagement is to reach a wide audience, to increase the number of post engagements or page likes, increase attendance at an event, or encourage people to claim a special offer. <clears throat> the next one is app installs. Um, if you would like people to install your Zap app, for example, that's a good way to do that. Um, video views, it gets more people to watch your videos. Lead generation is to get new prospects in your sales funnel. However, it only works on mobile. Messages is encouraging people to contact your Facebook business messenger. Next one is conversions is to get people to take a specific action on your website, like subscribe to a list or uh, buy a product. Catalog sales, connect your Facebook ads to your product catalog, which we don't have to worry about. And store traffic is to drive nearby customers to brick and mortar stores. Um, if you were trying to do this as an office, um, this might be an option, but I'm going to concentrate on the ones that I think are going to be most beneficial for the agents, which is traffic. So I'm going to click on traffic. As soon as I click on an objective, a whole new world opens up. Traffic. Make sure you name your campaign name. Uh, this is very important when you're running more than one ad so you can see what's happening. You choose a campaign objective based on your goals. So for um, this example, I'm choosing the traffic and I'm going to give you some of the options you can use. So your campaign name is going to be Next, you are going to name your campaign and set your daily budget. Um, if you've already set up your ad account, you'll see one a button that says, you know, you're good to go. Um, but if you're new to Facebook advertising, you will see a button here that says set up ad account. You click that and you'll be prompted to enter some details to create your ad account. Um, you enter things like your country, um, your preferred currency and time zone, and then it will walk you through the steps. Um, choose wisely just because if you want to change the options later, you'll have to create a separate ad account. What you're going to do is um, set up your campaign budget optimization. I'm going to set this as a lifetime budget because I know that over the course of the ad, I just want to spend, say, $20. So I'm going to change this to $20. Keep in mind that when you are changing this, depending on what you choose, it will automatically default to 100 for a daily or 700 for a lifetime. So make sure that you change that accordingly. So my lifetime budget is going to be $20. I'm going to click continue. So here's where you break down into your ad set. Um, if you are doing something that isn't for real estate, you're going to get different options depending on what it is. If you're in a special ad category, those have been created to discourage um, 
from discriminatory ad practices. Um, in general, I just leave this as is, US 18 plus. I want them to go to my website. I'm gonna create a new audience. I usually just leave that as it is because it will not allow you to discriminate against people based on certain characteristics. Locations is the version that I usually use. So for example, I'm going to get Savannah, Georgia. Click Savannah, Georgia. It will give you a radius around the center of Savannah, Georgia. I'm gonna go for 50 miles because I wanna reach as many people as possible. When you're doing a real estate ad, zip code selection is unavailable. The location selection must include all areas within a certain location, a 15 mile radius of any selected city, address or dropped pin. Um, you cannot change age, gender, and you cannot detail target someone, which means you can't do it based on if someone is uh, uh, looking to buy a boat or if they uh, are following mansions or anything like that because that's considered discriminatory. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose your placements next. I choose automatic placements because it maximizes your budget and helps show your ad to more people. Optimization and spending controls. Um, when I do a Facebook ad, for example, I just want it to run from the date that I'm placing the ad until the open house is almost over. So let's say the open house is going to be on the 28th and it's running 12 until 2. I will put 1.45 p.m. All right, there are more options, but you haven't chosen anything that needs to be changed. So when you get charged is by impression, which means when people see the ad, um, you can make your budget go a little farther by only getting charged when someone clicks on the ad. However, think about how you're looking at Facebook. You're not looking to click on something, you're just scrolling through your feed. Uh, same goes for Instagram. So. Um, running your Facebook paid ads on a schedule is probably the most efficient way to spend on your budget since you can choose to only serve your ad when your target audience is most likely to be on Facebook. All right, so now we're going to continue. And this is where you actually create your specific ad. So what you're gonna do is name your ad, again, just so reporting purposes, you can see what it is. Now, I have several pages that I manage on behalf of the company and for individual agents. Um, so my Facebook account is going to be the office that I'm in, and the Instagram account that I wanna also send ads to is going to be that one. If you do not have an Instagram account, um, you don't have to create one, um, but this expands the audience that you're going to be able to see. It's going to be able to see it. Going to create an ad. The reason that I like to create ads is I have more control over what it looks like and what it says. Um, I am not a fan of boosting posts because it doesn't reach as many people. Um, you can use an existing post. However, um, it's a little bit more difficult and you have to um, abide by certain rules for real estate. And if that post doesn't abide, it just cancels the ad. So I usually like to create my ad from scratch. It gives me more control. You can choose a carousel, which is like a slideshow. You can choose a single image or video. Um, it's more difficult to use a video if you're trying to, to link to, uh, to YouTube. Just keep that in mind. I'll show you why in a minute. And a collection, it's got a bunch of items that opens up. This is more useful for um, things like a store. Um, next, you're going to add your media. I'm going to, for an open house, for example, or a listing, I'm going to add an image.
and it will tell you in here what it's going to look like. You have the option to turn multiple images into a video, um, but think about how fast you're scrolling through. You don't really look at something for more than two, three seconds. So this is a great way to just get a pop and uh, make sure that you're catching their attention. So here is the preview editor. By default, it's set to mobile newsfeed. I like to um, check the desktop newsfeed as well because it gives you a little bit better idea of what it's gonna look like. So for your primary text, um, to create the best Facebook ads, you need to keep the recommended character counts in mind. Anything beyond these text limits is going to be cut off. You also need to be able to understand um, what types of Facebook ads work with each of the ad campaign uh, objectives. Um, so what you're gonna do is put your primary text here. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick a random house. Oh, turns out that's the same photo, excellent. So your primary text is going to be the description. Back into your ads, primary text, and just paste it right there. As soon as you move to the next field, it will update your preview so you can see what your ad is going to look like in real time. Your headline, there's two ways to do this. For example, I'm doing an open house. So I'm just gonna copy this URL or the address, and I'm gonna paste it right here in the website URL. What that does is automatically pulls the information from that website and creates the ad almost for you. Savannah, Georgia Open Houses, because that's what the name of this tab was. However, I'm not a big fan of that, so what I'm going to do is create a different headline. And you can see the change right there. Um, another great way to use this field, the description, is if you're doing a specific listing, you can say, and there you go, it's right there. Um, if there are any errors, they will show up down here. And then you just click confirm and you're all set and your ad is created.